What's up, LS gang? It's your girl Sass, and I'm back with another lit ass video. As you guys can tell, and as you guys can see by the title, before we get started with this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell everyone in between. Subscribe to Life of Sassy and come join the LS gang, 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 right along with you. And like I said, as you guys can tell by the title, you already know what we're doing. So on my Instagram, I had asked um, life update questions or life like like stuff you wanted to know about me. Or things you want to know that I'm doing or in the process of doing going into the new year. And something to look forward to in a new year and stuff like that. So, I'm going to just get started. I'm going to just jump right in. So, these are the questions right here. So, the first question is, um, how, do you, how do you control your emotions? Um, how do I control my emotions? Um, I either talk about my emotions or my feelings. Or I cry, or I write them down, or I express it through my passion, which is dance. Um, I am currently, I'm in the, I'm upcoming, well, I'm in the process of doing, I'm in the process of doing a dance class for my coworkers and stuff like that. I'm so excited because I don't, I want to know, I like, I'm excited for this, but I'm going to vlog the whole thing, so stay tuned for that. But yes, um, I express my feelings, or I, how do you control your emotions? So, yes, that's the way I control my emotions. I control it either by crying. Um, I talk to my friends or I talk to my mentors or I um, dance. I express it or control it through my passion, which is dance. Um, are you happy with what you have done in 2022? I would say yes. Um, I got my first apartment, ever apartment, in 2022. Um, I, no, I didn't get this car, but I did get my first apartment. Um, I ended up becoming full-time for my job in 2022. Um, I met some bomb-ass co-workers. I gained some co-worker friends, some actual friends that they turned from co-workers to my actual friends. I can't say that. Um, I did get a tattoo. I did get a tattoo of... Um, my niece and my two godchildren, I did get that tattoo in 2022. Um, I've learned a lot in 22, I must say. I must say. And I think that's one of the questions. The next question is, what have you learned in 2022? And I shall say, I have learned um, that I can't always save people or I can't always protect people the way I want to do and I also learned that people are not me meaning um the kind of heart that I have and yes like when you go through tough times or tough friendships or tough situations with a friend um like me and my best friend we went through hell and back like we did we don't went through some shit but we went through some shit to learn from the shit uh, we went through some shit to build from the shit and I think that's what a lot of people, you know, lack at. Um, they don't know a genuine good person until they've had that in. Un until, well, I don't know, people aren't, wasn't raised like me. So they see things a little different from the way I was raised and the way I view things, um, my point of view on things. I feel like um, I treat my friends or close acquaintance, if I consider you a friend, I treat them like, a relationship I treat them as like this is something that I'm working on this is something that it takes a lot of work um, if I want longevity in my friendships or my platonic relationships um then I'm gonna have to I'm, I'm going to have to work at that and I think people don't want to work at that and it's totally fine and I know that some people outgrow people but when you know a good person or when you see a good person or when you're around a good person, you will think that it will affect that person or, you know, they will kind of sort of adapt to it. But that's not the case in some areas. And I've, I've completely understood that and I've completely learned that. People aren't me. Their heart is not where my heart is. Their desire is not where I desire or what I desire. Um, yeah, we just come from two different backgrounds and we may just outgrow people. 
but it's just how you handle certain situations, certain things I wouldn't do if I decide to call it quits with a friend or we just decide to go out separate ways as friends. I still would want to wish them well. You know, I still wouldn't want bad animosity or bad tension. You know, if I was to ever see this person down the line or whatever the case may be and, you know, we come across each other, I don't want it to be bad energy. Like, you know, it, you know, you have that, that weird tension, like, should I speak? Like, should I speak? Should I not? Should I speak? Should I not? I'm going to look. I'm going to turn my head. I'm going to look and I'm going to turn my head. Like, it shouldn't be that way. And I think that sometimes, you know, I don't know, it just make it weird. And, yes, sometimes when you outgrow a person, you can actually, there you go, you can actually um, be around a person and not, not, yeah, we, you can actually be around each other and coexist or you can actually see somebody and be like, act like you don't even know that person. You know, that's just how that is, you know, sometimes. But I don't want it to be like that. I'm not like that and I don't want to be like that when it comes to people that I've once considered a friend. And I feel like that added, well, I thought that, add, that I added value to that person or they added value to me. And at one point, I did consider this person a genuine friend. I'm not going to sit up here and just, oh, because we on, we, we don't talk anymore or we're not friends anymore. Yeah, that bitch, you know, fuck that bitch or whatever. I'm not like that. You know, sometimes you you want to be like that or you, like maybe about four or five years ago, I was like that. But as I grew and got older, I'm not like that when it comes to certain situations. But on that note, I'll be right back question is what do you do when you feel unmotivated when I feel unmotivated I try to figure out why in a sense and I also it's, it's very rare I start to feel unmotivated in something like um sometimes with YouTube like you, you I don't feel unmotivated but I feel I, I feel like I can do so much more and that's why I, that's why in 2023, that's why I'm making some changes today. So all you do is make change. If you're feeling unmotivated or you feel like you can do much more, change it. Mm. Y'all are fool. It feels so good. How often do you feel discouraged? That's what I just said. Um, it's very rare that I ever feel discouraged about anything. I don't think I ever felt discouraged about anything. And if I did feel discouraged, I will see why and I will change it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I can answer that one. How are you? How is your mental health? Yo, my mental health is good. I should say good right now. My mental health is where it needs to be at. Like, it's actually good. It's good. It's good. I is no complaints. Um, I feel like it could be better. But um, for the most part, it's pretty good. Yo, I ain't, I ain't tell y'all what I got. Hot. I got this is sesame chicken with shrimp fried rice. It's a dinner combo. I mental health a lot, and I work in a mental health facility or a behavior health facility where it deals with mental health. And I got I got people on my corner just in case that ever was to happen or things was to shift or drift or whatever the case may be. I have people in my corner to help me with my mental health. Um, my best friend, of course, my brother, of course, like. Like, those three people, like, them people, we, like, I can't even do it. But we like this. We like this. Um. Now, like, if you break it up, like, my mental health, my physical health, my emotional health, health, I feel like it's okay. It's not where it needs to be. But if... Are you interested in people? Are any interested in people? 
any interesting people it was it was i had you know a little potential boo but they ended up not being what i thought it was because y'all let me tell y'all something and we have these talks all the time let me tell y'all something I hate the talking stage. I like it, but I hate it. Because you always have to constantly figure out what is this person thinking about, or you always have to figure out what you should see. Like, should I say this? Should I not say this? Is it moving too fast? Is it not moving too fast? Like, what's going on? And I was talking to somebody, but they ended up not being what it was because I felt like, we was out we what we you know we wanted it to kind of work but and in, in a sense i met him in new york and it was kind of long distance but he was doing like too much and i don't like a person which i had already told him and i probably should have never told him that but i don't like for a person to keep pressing me on about sexual things like if we gonna get to that we gonna get to that and and I don't mind doing it. I don't mind being intimate and passionate and sexual. I don't mind doing that. But don't press me on it because that shit is so annoying. And that tells me what you after. Like, it just give it away all the time. And it's just, I hate that so much. Like, why are you like that? Like, why are, why are you like that? It just make it bad. Like, like these niggas, like, trash. <laughs> Like, that's how I feel. Oh, excuse me. Because you can't have a common, you, you can't have a decent conversation with me. You can't hold a conversation. You can't even have a conversation for a week without you being sexual or sending, you was pressing me on a picture about a video. I had a lot going on that weekend. It was a lot going on. But you was pressing me on it, and I just was not, I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling it. If you're talking about intimate, like, if you're talking about a boyfriend, no, not right now. I did, but not right now. And, y'all, let me tell y'all something. I want it so bad. <laughs> I want it so bad. These niggas just, just not it. They not it. They not it. All right, I just got a, uh, about two more. What, what are your true feelings about moving? My true feelings about moving is, oh y'all, my true feelings about moving is I'm kind of sort of scared. I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. I'm nervous about it. I'm excited and nervous. I feel like it's. I'm so ready for it. Like, this is what I need to do. But I'm nervous. Like, I feel like it's going to go so fast. And it is, like, next week will be the middle of January. It's going to go by so fast. And that's why I was, like, trying to narrow shit down before the year. Before, what you call them, I had a couple of apartment tours. um, And then I was, like, I was going to wait to apply. But I was, like, no, the process, the the interview process, it takes time any damn ways. Like, it takes fucking weeks for them to review the application. And then you got to get on and go through the interview process and then send documents. By the time that come, it's going to already be March. And I was like, why wait? Why wait? So, to respond to that, how I tr my true feelings about moving is I'm excited, but I'm nervous at the same time. I know this was what I need. I need it so bad. I need it so bad. Like, Louisiana is just, it's so bad, it's so corrupt, it's so negative. Like, I used to love going out in New Orleans because this is where I'm from. I used to love going out, going to parties, all kinds of stuff, but I don't do that now because it's so negative and bad. Like, you can't, you can't enjoy yourself, and it sucks. It sucks. And they do have crime everywhere, but... I feel like I just need a fresh start. I need a fresh start. I'm trying to, and that goes to the next question. Do you feel like the current career that you're in, wait, do you feel like the current career that 
you're in. Oh, do you like the current career that you're in? And I should say I do. I love my job. I love my job. And I, I say it every day, every day. I love this job. Like, it's so good. Like, it's so I have the the best team ever. I gained a, um, I gained a work bestie. And we thought she was leaving last week. But she extend, they extended her contract. So I'm excited because I was deeply in my feelings. But my coworkers are my friends. Like, that's my, you know, we see each other. And I just feel like my team in general is the best. Like, we go above and beyond for each other. And it's, it's I love it so much. Like, we don't step on nobody's toes. You know, I, we give back to the patients. We do so much for the patients. You know, just to put a smile on their face. They go through tough times and they end up for mental health or substance use. And I like to see expressions on their face when, when I come to them or we, we talk about something. And they be like, thank you. Like, we just needed to just talk or we just needed to get it out. Like, I love that so much. And I love my patients. <laughs> They're so damn funny. Right, that's one thing you're going to do. When you when I'm coming to work, I'm going to give me a laughing. I don't know who it's going to be by, but I'm going to give me a laughing. But I feel like that the current career I'm in now is getting me to where I need to be at. Like, I've learned so much. I met so many people, creative, talented people. Ooh, creative, talented people that could help me in this career setting. But... I feel like, and we all say this, me and my two coworkers, like, we know that this is not the end. This is not the end at all. Like, they so creative, and, so, and I brag about them so much because, man, like, they be doing so much. They do more than me. Like, I, they do more They do more than me. But um, they so creative and talented, and, like, like, we want to give so much or provide so much for this community. And we know that this is not the final step. It's not, and that's why I feel like I have to go. I have to go. I like, I, Louisiana is not for me anymore. I seen it a long time ago. And I stayed, I did my year and a half here, but it's just not for me anymore. So I have to go. Like, I have to make them, I have to make some changes to things. And it's okay. I'm nervous. But it's okay. So to answer that question, I love my career that I'm in right now. And I think that's what I'm going to do up until I get comfortable on my feet to where when I move it, when I when I move until I get comfortable, that's what I'm going to do. But this is not the end. This is not the end at all. Um Do you want kids? I would love kids. I love kids are my weakness, y'all. Kids, I love kids. Like, kids just do something to me. Like, they, who they do something to me. They put, like, this little soft spot in my heart. Like, I be so in tune with the kids. Like, I be wanting to know, like, how was their day? What they learned? Did they meet anybody new? Did they learn something new? Like, what kind of stuff that, like, I want to know so bad. Like, I just be want to be with them on the journey of them being a kid. <laughs> I love kids. Um, I would love to have kids, but how am I going to have kids without a man? I need a man, a decent, young, handsome man, goal-driven man, you know, respectful man. Like, I need that in my life, and I want it, and I'm going to get it. Thank y'all for watching my video. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to Life of Sassy again. Um, thank y'all for tuning in with me. Um, it's some more questions, but I can't do it all in this setting with this lighting like this. Like, like I just feel like I'm just giving y'all whatever, just throwing y'all whatever, and I don't want to do that. So we're going to do a part two to this. So stay tuned for that. And... Yes, uh, soon y'all going to be seeing the dance class in about a couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that. And like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you drop a lot. Make sure, make sure you drop down in the comments what was your favorite part of the video. Also leave me some questions that you want me to answer. And I would love to answer them on my part two. 
Um, make sure you like the video. Make sure you share the video. Tell everyone that you know to subscribe to Life Obsessed and come join the LS Gang 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 right along with you. And thank you for watching.